Hi guys, it's Ian from OSBFX. It is Wednesday the 26th of April 2023. It's coming up to lunchtime in the UK. Now it seemed like the banking crisis was over. Uh, headlines about Credit Suisse and Silicon Valley Bank uh, have been fading into the background. However, regional banks are suffering from cash outflows and the worst affected is the First Republic Bank that has caused a move to the downside in stock indices yesterday and a run to safe haven currencies such as the Japanese yen. The currency pair that I want to concentrate on today is the US dollar against the Japanese yen. I want to look at three different time frames. We're going to look at the eight hour chart, the four hour chart and then the hourly chart. All of these different time frames offer a bearish bias. Let's get to the charts. So the first uh, chart is the eight hour chart. Here we can see we've had an impulsive move to the downside uh, from the March highs uh, around about 138, the figure. And then we've had this choppy move higher. Now that is quite common in corrective formations. We can see a channel pattern on this time frame. That pattern has an eventual bias to break to the downside. If we go to the four hour chart. Here we can see an ending wedge pattern. We've broken that wedge to the downside. The measured move target uh, for this formation is located at 130.61. We've got a 261.8% extension level located just inside there at 130.61. 0.94. So that is offering a negative bias on this time frame. We have got a reverse trend line resistance located at 134.04. If we go to an even shorter time frame, and this is the corrective channel formation that we talked about, here we can see a five wave count to the upside. That would indicate that we're in a corrective move lower we have broken the previous swing low we've got a confluence area to the downside at 132.37 which is also close to the channel base so just to reiterate uh, what we're looking at on the us dollar against the japanese yen we've got three different time frames all offering a negative bias we've got a corrective channel on the eight hour chart we've got a wedge breakout on the four hour chart and on this time frame uh, we've got uh, a downward bias towards 132.37 okay guys thanks very much and i'll be back again soon with more analysis